Death Stranding is one of those games you would pick up on sale when you want to experience something different. In a way it's a hiking simulator, but as other games place moving around the map as an automatic feature that can be accomplished without having to think about movement, Death Stranding takes it to a new level by enticing the player to think about their every step and turn along the way. I picked up the Director's Cut Edition while I was on sale, and I'm glad I did because the newly added features definitely helped the game feel more complete. However, there were certain aspects that I found were overlooked. From the baseless combat that presented an illusion of danger without the ability to actually kill the player unless they had ultimately given up, to the lazy hologram narrative that failed to make the player feel connected with each delivery. The story itself tried to create a lot of tension with the importance of each delivery. However, if you were to lose a package along the way, the story didn't punish the player in any way and allowed them to progress without any consequences. This lack of danger ultimately showed the flaws that Death Stranding had. While on the surface they had attempted to make something that contained a variety of story elements to tie everything together, in the end, they didn't connect all the points in a way that would keep the player coming back. If you were a fan of a more casual experience of a hiking simulator from point A to point B with the slight challenge of traversing the terrain, then this game may be for you. But if you wanted an action RPG that would keep you on the edge of your toes throughout the experience, you may be disappointed given the slow burn nature that this game has. The ability to place down certain zip lines and ladders can be utilized by other players and vice versa, which allowed for players from across the world to connect with each other by assisting through each obstacle that they may encounter. I can vouch that this came in handy on more than a few times, uh, especially during zip lines. However, beyond that, the game didn't have much else to offer. Unless someone was looking for a unique experience, players might find it difficult to connect with this game. With the sequel confirmed by Hideo Kojima, it will be interesting to see how they will be able to improve on these elements. However, if they fail to update the horrendous hologram system regarding deliveries and the lackluster combat, returning players may feel like they are being taken for a ride with more of the same, instead of improving on the, what they had initially established. But anyway, if you guys agreed or disagree with the topics discussed in this video, Please leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and I will keep these videos coming.